Hi, welcome to the Digimasters channel for all your Digimon content. We are continuing with the BT6 deck profiles and today I will be covering the purple deck I chose to build in three musketeers. It's a crazy deck, it's, it's a new deck with most of the cards from BT6. It's a new art type and it's really strong, really fun. You get to play a lot of options, you are aggressive. It's kind of security control because you have a lot of options, so they tend to go into your security. Um, you are very destructive and very aggressive, so it's going to be a very strong deck and very nice to play. Let's see what's in the deck. So, the best purple baby, still. Demi Meramon. For the fifth one, we removed the Xeramon from purple and we used it Samamon. So every time you discard a card, you get to draw a card, and there are a lot of options. Of course, you discard cards from your hand in BT6 for purple, so we're trying that one out. I think it's a good fit in this deck. For the rookies, we first have four new Impmon. Um, just on play, you get to take a three musketeer deck, a card from your trash back to your hands. Good. And we want Impmons for uh, later. Then we have the Impmon from BT2. On the leash and trash, top three cards in your deck. Of your deck, you want a lot of cards in your trash. So it's a good fit. Then the other ones we have two Soundbirdmon. When you attack, you can trash an option card to gain a memory. You want the options in your trash and you gain a memory. So that's also always good. And we have two more in Labramon. Just to draw one and again trash a card from your hand. Then we already go to the level 4s. We have, of course, the 4s, the 4 Deputy Mon. Um, it's a very good support card for 3 Musketeers. The on play is really good. But you get to trash the cards. Most of the time, it's the bottom of the deck. This one trashes the cards you found. And you can take a, an option for 3 Musketeers, which are a lot of cards in this deck. So, yeah. And it can also digivolve in any 3 Musketeers for, by paying 6. So you get to play all of them in this deck. Then we have two Devimon blockers, because you want some blockers to slow the game down, and two Vilemon for the same reason. But I have chosen by, for a 2-2 line, just to have other play costs, other DP. The last champion, I think it's a very good fit in this deck, and I didn't see it a lot in 3 Musketeer decks. We have two new Orgamon from BT6. On play, you get to trash one card from your hand, that would be good enough, but you also get to level, delete the level 4 of your opponent, so you can delete a blocker or something that uh, would be lethal. Then for level 6, we have, of course, we start with Musketeers in 3 Gundramon. It's also a blocker, which I didn't saw at first, but that's already very good. Can digivolve from the the beauty mon or just hard play, and when you digivolve, you get to trash the reveal the top five cards and play a option of level seven for free, and the rest is trashed. So that's always good. Then the magna kit mon. It's more to be deleted, so I'm only playing two. Um, don't want to digivolve in them in him a lot, but also when you digivolve. Again, only from Deputy Mon. You can use uh, option cards with cost 7 from your hand for free. And if you can't, you can delete an opponent's Digimon with 4k or less, which is both good. And then, of course, we have the strongest Three Musketeer. So we play 4 BL Star Mon. Um, yeah, it's the strongest one. It does that as a Digivolve, so you don't want to Digivolve into it. Also, don't play in level 5, so. Could only digivolve from the beauty mon by paying six, but it isn't worth it. Because um, when you play it, the cost is reduced, so you don't gain the memory back. So you can play it when you're on zero or one. It's reduced for every option card with seven cost or every three musketeer card in your trash. So at the end game, you just play it for free, and you can play even all four of them just for free. Also, uh, on play you can take uh, option cards with level 
with cost 7 from the trash to your hand and play 1 in your hand from free. So you don't have to play the one you've taken back. But you can take one back if you want to. And then I'm playing two other level 6s. As I said, the imp one is quite important. Because I'm also playing two Bealsmon. You're going to trash a lot of cards. So when you have 10 or more cards in your trash, just any cards, you can digivolve into Bealsmon from the imp one Just by paying 4, the normal digivolution cost. And when you digivolve, you can delete opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon, so you can remove a blocker and take the game by surprise. You have some level 7s. I've chosen for Millennium Mon. Um, then digivolve from Bealsamon and uh, Gundramon and Bealsamon, of course. But it just kind of adds yeah, the best deletion cards. It can take away Cranium Mon. It's going to see a lot of play. Which you otherwise can't remove. And yeah, it just survives in the very aggressive meta. So even if they want to delete the Millennium on, it just comes back for one time. And with Bealstar Mon, it can come by surprise. You can play the Bealstar Mon for free and did you have the Millennium on and lose the game. I'm also testing out one Omnimon Sword. Again, the purple black solution is the best colors for this deck. Um, and it's more of kind of in the end game where you're having a little bit of trouble. You can again play Bealstorm on for free, go to Mondon Sword and play two blockers in the field just to hope to not die. The other, these were all the Digimon, so we go into the options. Of course, all our options are seven costs. First, we have mm, let's place them here. We have the Nailbone to play level four and level three from your trash. Again, you can play a blocker and just some other Digimon to yeah, have something on a field. It's very nice that you can play it for free with a, a lot of cards, so you can free Digimon on the field. And all the other one, all the other options are deletion options. First a fly bullet. Yeah, delete opponent level six or lower Digimon. Very good. Um, especially if it's for free. So yeah. Then we have the Gewaltschwärmer to learn your German. You have uh, delete all Digimon that play cost 7 or less. Also your own ones. But um, yeah, it doesn't matter, they can die. You can take them back with Nailbone or Omnimon's Ward. It doesn't matter that much. And you can remove a, a big field of your opponent. A little bit downside, the security doesn't activate, it just goes to your hands. Then we have the other three musketeer option. We only play two of them as I don't think it's that good. It just deletes all opponent's Digimon with the lowest TP. So this triggers only the opponent's Digimon. But um, yeah, mostly it's going to be uh, one or maximum two of the opponent's Digimon. But yeah, still has some use. So let's play it. And the last option is, of course, the best deletion cards for purple. For a long time in Trump Sword. No explanation, as we all know it. And for Tamers, just have two Mimi. Going to play a lot of uh, options for free. So if you can gain a memory for them, even better. Um, can also make the Beastormon gain your memory. It's very nice. Um, also uh, prevent your opponent by of playing too many options, as you can. Uh, to spend it your opponent's turn and gain a memory and maybe make your opponent lose memory. It's very good against Hammer Spark, of course, to so just negate the effects. Yeah, this is the deck. Um, I don't think I would change anything yet. They tested it a lot already and I'm very happy with this version. I like the especially Ogremon. As I said, I don't see it a lot in other Musketeer decks, but I think it's really good to trash a card and have a body on the field and remove an opponent's Digimon, which is all perfect for this deck. And I like it in the end game when you just get to play Bealstorm once for free, multiple in a turn, play some options, play Nailbone a lot, and just warm your opponent. As I said, it's very aggressive deck, so you get to attack with. 
take Digimon very fast and you get to remove all your opponent's stuff. So yeah, I like it. I think it's a very good contender in this meta. So give it a try. I would like to thank everyone for watching this video. Later rounds of the regionals will be uploaded later this week on this channel. So make sure to subscribe if you're interested in seeing them. I would also like to thank our sponsor, TCG Shop, for providing us the boxes and singles needed to participate in these tournaments. Be sure to check them out in the link in the description if you are interested in cheap Digimon boxes or singles. I would love to see all of you in the next video. Goodbye!